Hey y'all, it is Tuesday, June 6th, and it is the end of the day. We had field day today, that's why I'm a hot mess. Um, just got back from a staff meeting. It lasted about a half an hour, and then I had to have a meeting with my principal um, regarding some news. So again, can't say it just yet because we don't know when it's gonna be official or not, but I've started to clean out my room. I am, if you can see in the background, going through all of my like office supply stuff, but thankfully, like all of my textbooks, see all of my textbooks are gone, and then I have to pack up all of my math manipulatives because some of those are my, actually most of them are mine. I've been stacking my bookshelf because we're uh, <laughs> some big news, fifth grade is moving inside. Um, so all my cabinets are cleared and everything's almost off the walls. I like kept the rules up just in case because I always want to be like, rule number three. I don't even know what it is. Raise your hand for permission to leave your seat. It really took me that long to figure out what the, what the rule says. But so I just wanted to check in with you guys. I honestly hate field day and I mean it went very well today. Yay PE teachers. Um, but I'm just not a fan of, P of field day. They don't even cut the grass. Like, come on. You know, like, I mean, and like PE teachers can't um, make that happen. But, oh my gosh, this room is a mess. It's so messy. So I got to go um, bring my car around, put some stuff in some bins, and I'm going to go work out at 4.30. I have to go to the dollar store and pick up some more bins so that I can put everything in bins tomorrow. Um, and yeah, pretty much like my classroom is like, I feel like I don't have a lot of stuff, but I know once I start putting things in bins, I'm going to have a lot of stuff. And what stinks is like, it's what takes up room is it's bins inside of bins. So like, if you can see like the end of the bookshelf there, I don't know if it's zooming in. Yeah. See like bins inside of bins. I've got to put those inside of a bin. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I've made some progress. It's a half day for us. Um, made some progress on cleaning my room. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday, June 7th. And as you can see behind me is only half of my classroom. No, maybe a third, a third, because I think I'm gonna have to take three separate trips. I have all of this stuff. I have two more bins to fill. I will then have to make a third trip with my, what are they called? Stools and like all my bins. Cause I have so many bins. Oh my gosh. I have to drive really, really slow as I'm coming up to this light because of all the crap that I have in my backseat right now. I have so much stuff. Like, look at this. Yes. Thankfully, my mom's going to allow me to, like, store this stuff in our basement rather than our garage. Usually, I would have to walk it up and store it in the room above the garage, but this stuff is too heavy. I even had to wait to have Ian get a bin for me that was full of paper. Um, not school paper. It was paper that I had purchased that I just like to keep at school. So, hmm, for all of you that are wondering, why is she taking paper from the school? Well, it's mine. So we are going to Ian's house right now and he's probably going to try to fit in here. I have my stuff, my bag in the front seat, but I can just put that in the back. There's still room, believe it or not, there's room. Um, and then we're going to go to Asahi for dinner. We go out to eat way too much. So hopefully if he uh, watches this vlog, he will see me saying that and will think to himself, hmm. Maybe we do go out to eat too much. Hi, huh, Ian. He's behind me. What a great boyfriend helping me move stuff. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. I will give you a new room tour because there is hardly anything there. What? It's 4.30. A little bit before 4.30 and I am leaving. It is Thursday, June 8th, and tomorrow is the last day of school. So today was the day I had to finish getting everything out of my room if I want to be able to leave tomorrow on time. I think I said in my last clip that I have two um, parties to go to tomorrow. One is a student's fifth grade promotion, like slash graduation party, and then the staff um, party as well. So if you can see, I have more bins in my backseat. 
can see that. So not nearly as many little bins this time. Um, and that's because I don't have any more little bins that are packed full of stuff. They are home waiting. Um, they're home waiting for me to go through them. That is why my hair is a mess because I have been cleaning my room. So <clears throat> right now I am on my way to get my nails done and my toes done for promotion tomorrow. I feel like I deserve it. I worked really hard yesterday to get as much done as I could. I think I need to go to Dollar General and buy one more bin. Oh, it scared me. Did you guys hear that? I thought like a rock hit my window or I got, I like hit something, but one of the bins like unsnapped because it's too full. Oh my gosh. And like things are like sliding forward. I might need to slow down a little bit. Everything's sliding in the back. Do you guys hear it? Or see it? I don't know. This might be a really bad camera angle. But, all right. I'm going to go get my nails and toes done. And I will see you guys tomorrow for promotion. So, this just happened. This thing was filled with all of my ribbon. And as you can see, it went all over the place. My phone is down there. I just have a ribbon all over my car. It's all out of the bin. Like, my car isn't even that full. It's because of crazy St. Mary's traffic. People don't know how to drive. Maybe it's me. <laughs> but at least I admit I have a problem. No, but I don't have a lid on my ribbon bin. So if that were to have fallen like it did, it's, yeah, that would be the bin to have fall, you know? Like, that would be the bin to fall because I don't have a lid on it. All right, well, now I have to waste more time picking up ribbon rather than getting in there. Actually, I think I might just go ahead and go get my nails done. I'm gonna clean this up later. Okay, bye, y'all. Oh my gosh, guys. I went in to get my nails done at 4.30. It is now 6.30. It does not take two hours to get your nails done, yet here I am two hours later telling you it doesn't when it does that didn't make any sense whatsoever but in my mind just know that I'm ticked and I have all this ribbon in my car to pick up I couldn't pick it up while I was driving I mean it's a lot of ribbon like look yeah okay, well I'm gonna figure out how to fit my boyfriend in my car because we are going down to my house to play with the dog and eat some dinner tonight. I said that I would see you guys tomorrow at promotion, but here I am venting. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna fit my boyfriend and I will see you guys tomorrow at promotion. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, I'm really sorry that I didn't get to vlog the last day of school. It was a hectic day re with promotion and I'm getting tongue tied right now just talking about it because I don't really even know what I did other than promotion and clean out my room. As you can see, my room, or my room, my car is full of chairs that have fallen. And so right now, I mean, it's Monday, June 10th, 11th, 12th, June 12th, June 12th, 9th, no, June 10th, 11th, 12th. I don't even know what day it is, but I'm having to make a trip because my stools fell over and they're too, I'm too annoyed to have to like fix them and I have to buy more bins to put my crap in for my room. So I'm currently at the house making a trip and I'm gonna see if I can open up our basement and put these stools inside so that I can go back to school and finish packing up my classroom. So I will keep you guys up to date and show you guys what the um, classroom looks like once I'm finished. All right guys, I am officially done, signed out, ready to go. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of my classroom really quick because as you can hear, there's an echo meaning there's nothing left behind. Well, other than what's staying in this room or other than what I would want to come with me um, to my grade level change. So I guess I can officially announce it. Yes, I'm switching grade levels. Um, I don't really know if I wanna get too into it too much right now until it's like officially official. Um, meaning like it's in the system and all, which probably won't happen until August, but that's okay because I'd like to keep some of my life private. Um, and I just think that this change will be for the better. Like my principal is so gracious to let me explain myself for this grade level change. Like 
I want to be an instructional resource teacher and in order to do that I need to have experience in different grade levels. So I'm really excited and yeah, let me just show you the room really quick because I kind of want to get out of here and go get in the pool. So um, we have to leave our Erla books inside this summer. I definitely want to take the overhead cart with me. Nothing's on the floor. I have to roll up the carpet really quick. All the desks are stacked. This is the stuff that's coming with me. Um, I haven't even opened up the balance ball chairs that were given to us. Hopefully keeping my desk and my kidney table. All the computers are stacked. Chairs, shelves clean. Hopefully I get to keep that shelf. Hopefully I get to keep that shelf. I don't really know. Um, so yeah, everything is gone. I have decided to take everything home with me because of not knowing the grade level change that I was going to be in. Um, so, and I think that's for the better because now I can go through it at, in the comfort of my own home and I'm not doing anything this summer. No big trips other than family vacations. Um, I'm very working on minimal, um, curriculum writing this summer, not doing as much, which I think is for the better. So I will see you guys sometime soon. Hopefully I get to vlog part of my life for, for you this summer. Um, hopefully it's more exciting than just what it is during the school year. So I will talk to you guys later. Please like these videos if you want to see more of them and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.